Alright, this is the conclusion of my three-part video series on rewiring a sump pump. There's the pump, it's plugged in. The JB water weld seems to have worked very well. It hardened. It should be a nice seal. I have it attached to a hose, it's plugged in, it's running. The purpose of this pump is really to just get the water off of my pool cover. Seemed like, you know, a little bit of work, but it was really only five, ten minutes worth of work. $89 pump, so I think it was well worth it, time well spent. House hasn't burnt down, breakers haven't tripped. And um, as you can see, the pump's working great. I'll get that water out of there and hopefully try to stay up on it a little bit better. Now that my pump's running, notice if I let the pool cover, well, it's pretty obvious, but as the pool cover drops in from the weight of the water, taking the path of least resistance, it comes out the skimmer tube. And the further it goes down, the less water I have in my pool when I open it, reopen it. And because we have a well here and our water is absolutely horrible and full of iron, it's nice to be able to put in as little as we have to from there. Later on in the year, or early next year before we uncover, I'll pump water back into the pool from the rainwater and hopefully have to put in next to none. But again, it's working good. Last video, all I had left was to tighten the two bolts, which I did. Check the check for hardness of the JB water weld. And that is pretty much it. Drained here in about 20 minutes.